All right, this place is absolutely amazing. These mountains are giant. Um, we're just about to set up all of our sleds. It's all my stuff I gotta rig up still. The Korean team just got here, so they're shipping us in and out now. And unless I'm mistaken, that's her. All right, we're all loaded up. About to head in there. Of course, I literally broke, I literally broke my binding the second we got here. The bags were on top of it and something snapped, but we were able to fix it already, have some backup parts, so. Now we are officially gonna move to Hopefully, uh, Camp One at 7,800. Another group moving down the glacier. There we got Jim. And there she is. Camp One is somewhere, I think, like right up, oh, like right here ish. All right, so not really sure what's going on with our other two partners. They're way back there. I think they had to adjust something. So we're gonna take a, a break. I had something annoying in my uh, boot that was kind of like rubbing just a tiny bit there. It was like a little rock. Got it out. Pulled out our first snack pack. Got water. Gonna tape it up just to make sure the foot's good. All right, this is it out here. Quite beautiful. Still doing good, about four and a half miles in. And uh, getting a little tired with all this weight, but not a good tired, not bad, so. One more mile and get to camp one. <sighs> Pretty tired now. We are 6.1 miles in and we are still not officially at camp one, which was supposed to be 5.5 miles. So not really sure where that is. So we took one more break. Um, but as you can see, there's no camp here. That's just Jim. I'm currently, I'm sitting on my pack. This 70 pound sled has been a joy. And here we got a boss moving fast. So, beautiful day out though. At least the weather's good. Oh yeah, and in case anyone was wondering, just fun fact, that pack is about 45 pounds. It, everything weighed came out to about 45. And that sled I've been dragging, that guy, is about 75 pounds, so. They say the average is about 125, so it looks like I'm actually just about at that um, before my skis and boots though. So add that, I think I ended up going over by about 10 pounds. So I ended up being about 135 total or 130, um, but not too bad. I at least trained for this weight or close to this. So still sucks even with all that training. So first couple miles weren't so bad. But that view. All right, it's now 6 p.m. We've been moving for about six, a little, a little over six hours. Well, with breaks, but we've been traveling for the last six hours. And sorry, and uh, there's my pack. Or where's the sled? I can't see it. But guess what? Where is it? There's camp one. We made it. We will be able to set up. 
They'll set up camp tonight, get food, and then tomorrow we're heading up that. But it looks like I can ski down it and it looks really nice. So day one on the glacier, success. Nothing hurts really, no major sores. Overall tired, but to be expected. All right, I'll check back in later. And it's gotta go that way, probably another, I'd say another. All right, we just dug out this area. I don't know how visible it is on the camera right now, but that's for our tent. Got about two and a half to three feet wall, three foot walls. I'm gonna help him in a second. This is for the second tent, and then we have another hole right here for uh, our cook's, cook tent and kitchen area. Right now, Jim is melting water for us. So the work didn't stop even after we made it to camp one. Morning. So I never ended up recording anything more last night. Got really tired and by the time we got the tent set and everything, we all just went to bed. But slept great, got like eight hours of sleep. Um, got this down mat as well as we got like foam on the floor. So we have quite a bit of stuff to keep us warm in here. That's what it looks like inside the tent. Just a bunch of mayhem. Got some things drying, sleeping bags. So this is now day two on the mountain and uh, we're gonna head up the mountain and drop some stuff off at 11 camp today, or that's the plan at least, and then come back down here and sleep again and then take the rest up tomorrow. So busy day still. <laughs> she is. So today the plan is to go up up this face right here which is called Ski Hill. So that's our one tent. That's where Chris and I stayed. Some of our gear. That's where Tommy and I stayed. Today and we're getting ready for today and, and this lovely new addition. How do I look? All right, we just started moving from Camp One to Camp Two at 11,000 feet. We're taking about half our gear and uh, should be good. Honey out again, lighter load, feeling great. And these are our Chilean friends. Hello! And we got Jim up ahead leading us out. And some snowshoes ahead of us. So hopefully we can try and pass them. Moving a little slow. But that's where we go and we get to ski down there today. We just got to our first break, or food break at least. It's Chris and Tom behind us. They're probably gonna pass us. They took a little break back there a little bit, so. But check out these views. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Bam. Yeah, I need some help. Look at those views. And Chris. Lost my contact yeah. lens in my eye. Oh, fuck. I rub my eye and move to the side. Here we got Tom. All right, we're back on a back on the move after a good lunch break. Don't worry, didn't forget my pack. Check out this. There is it. That peak back there, like right there. That's Denali, and then check out behind me too.
Just this alone is worth the trip. But the fact that I'm gonna get to snowboard down this is incredible. All right, checking in quickly at break number three, I think. We're about 9,600 feet. Still got that beautiful view out there. Look at that view. Feeling good still, a little tired, but feeling strong. Every, nothing hurts too bad. Just taped up my foot a little bit. Keep from any blisters. Out here you want to stop them before they start. Alright, I'm using the GoPro real quick. I put my other camera away, but we made it to about 10, 10 2. We cached all of our stuff right here, so that's like all of our that's like extra food and stuff for tomorrow. But now we get to do what I came really came here for, which is to ski down. Are you kidding me? Look at this view. This is why I came here. This is amazing. I just made it back to camp, right as the sun is cresting over that peak. I'm gonna have dinner, but that was a little longer, slower than I thought. Is my face burnt too? Can't tell. Looks like it is though. Ooh, never good. All right. Day two on the mountain complete. We're gonna go to bed now. It is 11.45 at night. And look how sunny it is outside still. Okay, it's not sunny, but it's not definitely not dark either. That's what it looks like inside the tent. Just drying some socks. Got my sleeping bag. Got my nice down booties on. Got to brush my teeth. Call it a night. Alright, catch you guys in the morning. Peace.